now in this lecture we will be considering the roc that is the region of convergence to find your laplace inverse now in the previous lecture that we had studied only the methods and we had calculated the inverse without taking into consideration the roc but here we are we will be taking the roc into consideration now why we have to take the roc into consideration the first and the foremost reason is that we know that if we are given xs is equal to 1 upon s plus a so this value of 1 upon s plus a is due to two signals that is or we can say that we can get 1 upon s plus a either due to e to the power minus a t u t if my signal is x t is equal to e to the power minus a t u t then i will be getting its laplace inverse as 1 upon s plus a and similarly if i am having a signal minus of e to the power minus a t u of minus t then still i will be getting a laplace equal to 1 upon s plus a so if i find the inverse of this xs how am i going to find that whether my signal will be e to the power minus a t u t or x t is equal to minus e to the power minus a t u of minus t now to understand it we will have to take into consideration the roc that is the region of convergence now to understand your roc first of all we will have to make a s plane now in s plane we have an x axis in which we have the real part of s that is sigma and the imaginary axis of uh, s we term it as j omega x okay so if i am having a pole that is s is equal to minus a so here we have a pole x is equal to minus a so if it is given that the roc lies to the right of this pole okay so in that case if the roc lies to the right of this pole this is considered to be a causal signal and this signal will yield us the inverse of this 1 upon s plus a will yield us xt is equal to e to the power minus at ut okay now similarly if in the given pole or in the given s plane it is given that the my that my roc is on the left half or or the left side of minus a now in that case my signal will be xt is equal to minus e to the power minus at u of minus t now the left side is considered as anti causal okay now to understand it we will be solving a numerical given to us that is find the signal whose transform is xs is equal to 1 upon s plus 5 into s plus 1 now it is given for the roc minus 5 is less than real part of s that is sigma is less than minus 1 okay so to solve in this type of questions in which you have to consider the roc the roc will be given to you in the question okay so if the roc is given to you in the question you have to take into consideration the s plane okay then only you will be able to solve it okay so xs is equal to 1 upon s plus 5 into s plus 1 we have this we have uh, this s xs is given to us already in the numerical so i can use my partial fraction method to find the inverse first so 1 upon s plus 5 into s plus 1 is equal to a upon s plus 5 plus b upon s plus 1 so accordingly we can calculate the value of a 
now a will be equal to minus 1 upon 4 and b will be equal to 1 upon 4 by subsequently putting the values of s is equal to minus 5 and s is equal to minus 1 in equation number 2 okay so this will yield us xs is equal to minus 1 upon 4 into 1 upon s plus 5 plus 1 upon 4 into 1 upon s plus 1 now since in this numerical it is given that we have two po two poles that is minus 5 and minus 1 so the roc lies in between them so i can calcul i can uh, plot a uh, s plane sigma and j omega is there and i have plotted this minus 1 and this minus 5 and in between i have put the roc so if we look at this minus 5 now the roc is on the right of this minus 5 okay so if i want to find the inverse of 1 upon 1 plus 5 it will be my causal signal so for the causal signal we will be having the inverse e to the power minus 5t into ut that means if the roc falls on the right hand side you have to take the ut into consideration okay so the inverse will be e to the power minus 5t into ut now if we are taking minus 1 into consideration now for this my roc falls to the left of this minus 1 so since it falls to the left of this minus 1 then its inverse will be calculated as this value that is minus of e to the power minus a t u of minus t now since the value of a is 1 over here so we can put minus of e to the power minus t u of minus t okay so my inverse can be written as x t is equal to minus 1 by 4 I can put the value of minus 1 by 4 over here since it is a constant and the inverse of 1 upon s plus 5 1 upon s plus 5 was e to the power minus 5 t u t and 1 uh, and we can put a negative sign over here since we are having a positive sign over here so this negative will be corresponding to this sign so minus of 1 upon 4 1 upon 4 is here and 1 upon s plus 1 so 1 upon s plus 1 since minus we have already put in over here so we can put e to the power minus t u of minus t over here okay now to further uh, find out uh, fi further we can check another numerical so uh, to establish or to make our knowledge clear about the roc utilization for the calculation of your inverse laplace okay so for this we can take this numerical in this all the three cases are given in the question now we have to find the inverse laplace transform of xs is equal to 2 upon s plus 4 into s minus 1 now if the region of convergence is a is equal to minus 4 is less than real part of s is less than 1 now this real part of s is nothing but sigma now and b this real part of s is greater than 1 which means sigma is greater than 1 and c real part of s is less than minus 4 that means sigma is less than 4 minus 4 okay so first we are going to find the partial fractions so xs is equal to 2 upon s plus 4 into s minus 1 is equal to a upon s plus 4 plus b upon s minus 1 so accordingly by putting the values of s is equal to minus 4 in this equation we can get a is equal to minus 2 upon 5 and putting s is equal to 1 we can get b is equal to 2 upon 5 so xs will be equal to minus 2 upon 5 into 1 upon x plus s plus 4 plus 2 upon 5 into 1 upon s minus 1 now for the first case that is minus 4 and real part of s less than 1 we can make the s plane so accordingly we have a pole at 1 okay plus 1 we are having one pole and we are having another pole at minus 4 so in this in this condition it is given that the roc falls in between this minus 4 and minus 1 so 
since my ROC for this pole minus 4 is lying to the right so my inverse of 1 upon s plus 4 will be e to the power minus 4 t ut so it will be considering of the causal signal and that's why we are having e to the power minus 4 t ut and for this pole s is equal to 1 the roc is falling on the left hand side so for the left hand side we have the value of minus of e to the power minus a t u of minus t so accordingly we can put the value and we can calculate 2 to the power 5 e to the power since it is minus 1 over here so it will be having a value of plus t u of minus t so my entire uh, inverse will be x t is equal to minus 2 upon 5 e to the power minus 4 t u t minus 2 upon 5 e to the power t u of minus t secondly we have given we have been given real part of s should be greater than 1 now for real part of s should be greater than 1 we have a pole at minus 1 and minus 4 and this roc is on the right hand side of 1 okay and similarly this roc is also on the right hand side of minus 4 okay and we already know that in we cannot have any pole between the ROC so we cannot say that this ROC will be elongated and uh, this minus 1 will be in between the ROC so we will have to consider the ROC to the right of this one okay so if we want to calculate it so in this condition my both the conditions are for the causal okay so for this value 1 upon s plus 4 my inverse will be minus 2 upon 5 e to the power minus 4 t u t and for this one as well we will be having e to the power t into u t now here we are having this u t since it is on the right side of this pole okay and since it is on the right side it will be represented by a causal signal okay now in the next representation real part of s is less than minus 4 now here we have minus 4 and the roc is lying to the left hand side of this so in this case it since it is lying on the left side of minus 4 it is still lying to the left of 1 as well so in both the cases the system will be anti-causal and we will be considering x t is equal to minus of e to the power minus a t u of minus t okay so if we put these values we can have x t is equal to 2 upon 5 e to the power minus 4 t u of minus t min uh, it will be plus over here uh, sorry it will be minus over here minus of 2 upon 5 e to the power t u of minus t okay so this will be the total solution of my question so we can see that the roc plays a very important role in calculation of your inverse laplace so as you can see that there is a variation in the answers of my inverse laplace if we consider the roc of any question now for your practice we ha i have given you a question so you can solve it and you can for yourself see the value of uh, or the role of roc to calculate the inverse of your uh, laplace transform so in this question it is given xs is equal to 2s upon s plus 3 into s plus 1 now for a sigma is greater than minus 1 and uh, the b is sigma is less than minus 1 and c minus 1 is less than sigma is less than minus 3 now here the sigma is nothing but your real part of s okay thank you